circular keys are right in the city, but despite the light, we could still see Neptune from their wonderful telescope there. It's quite an old telescope, too. So if you have an observatory nearby, make a trip to it and see what marvelous things you can see in the night sky. More about Neptune. Bear in mind that it is the only planet that was not discovered by the naked eye or telescope, but was instead predicted by apparent anomalies within Uranus' orbit. However, this month it is just past opposition, so it is at least at its closest and brightest now. Named after the Roman god of the sea, Neptune is deep blue in colour, and has a rocky core of nickel and iron, a sea of water, ammonia and methane ice, and a layer of hydrogen, helium and methane clouds. These gassy clouds race around the planet at up to 2,400 kilometres per hour, nearly twice the speed of sound. The solar system's fastest wind and here we have the tides. Tide table for Dover. The phases of the moon. Moon rise and set. Gardens in October. View October recipes. With autumn vegetables. What's happening in the zodiac? A folk song and a bit on nature. This one I particularly like. It's about the pond in October. Falling leaves are drifting onto the surface of the pond now, and the growth around the pond is dying back, taking on shades of gold, brown, and red. And rushes are bowed from rain and wind, and spiders' webs are stung beneath them. The pond is filling up again with autumn rains, and could be brimful by the end of the month. This month, frogs will go into their version of hibernation, called brumination. these transition seasons can make us feel a little low, maybe feeling downhearted, or low on energy, or magnify feelings of grief, loneliness, or self-esteem. But I'm here in the study to keep you company and to tell you don't worry. We have ways to get through. So I thought I would take this video to give you some beautiful, relaxing sounds. And do a little bit of talking about how ASMR is a good thing for autumn. Give you a few tips and tricks on how to combat this down feeling, this low energy, or chi, as it were. Or maybe just feeling a little blue. Keep you company. Read you a bit of poetry.
your spirits for tackling the bigger things. Third, take time out. Make sure that you have enough rest, even if you have to set aside some time. Your health and well-being is more important, and no one can look after you better than you. Fill your reserve around. I'm not 
going to edit that out. I'm going to leave his claws. <laughs> Even though it's a bit of an odd sort of sound. But I'm indulging him because he likes to walk around. So, we'll wait for him to settle. Here we see the Roman Empire in the first and second centuries of Europe and Asia Minor it covered. Cappadocia, Thrace, there's Carthage, Numidia, Mauritania, Britannia, the yellow the provinces of Augustus. And later we get more wars and conquests. And we have a few battles as well. Crassus, that was or the end of the dictatorship of Julius Caesar and the triumvirate, Pharsalus, Acadium, of Mark Antony then, and of course Varus, the legion that was lost and about which Augustus was very angry. can we look at in this little book of high school life? Well, let's have a look at some words. Concept words. So, words that have a embedded cultural concept with them. And here we have different sections of the book. Humans and animals. Humans and gods. The Mediterranean. And the other. So, human them, or whether than themselves individual and the other. And that will probably be about uh, different places encountered as the empire got larger. Also metaphysical other as well. So we have a lot of interesting concept words. Also we can see some from the Greek in blue. So we know these words were used and borrowed by the Romans directly from the Greek because they had this concept with them. Let's look at these ones. Anima, homo, which means human. Bestia, again an animal, anima. Hybrida or hybrida, sort of a hybrid or cross. a good section. Humans and gods or the divine. Mythos, Greek myth. Fabula, a story. Augurium, the prophecy. Empire and in 
individual and the other, or oneself and the other. Let's look at the Mediterranean. We have this beautiful Greek oikumene, oikomene, kue. This is the inhabited world, the known world. the limit, particularly a Roman wall built along the border of Germania, Geographia, the earth and the geography, another one coming from the Greek. Interesting one here, hospice. Hospice can mean a guest or a host, can mean a friend or a foreigner, so we get a kind of a, a meaning of two different things that coincide. Also hospitum, from what we get, hospitality. And friendship. And then we have Thai Diem We Thai. Or being tired of life. Coming together in this one. We have another Greek word. Eidolon. A spirit or a phantom, a simulacrum, an imitation or representation of something or someone, a monstrum of a portent or a marvel that shows history. This will be an act. appearance, persona, to do with theatre, the mask or a character. You can see how those come together. In the genus, in a door, noble, nobility, and of course servus, a slave. So there we have some words we have looked at. We've learned a few concepts. We've looked at them in their subject or category headings. And we've probably piqued our interest to look at more things that have to do with these concepts whether in ancient history or in modern times. So we've put something in our intellect. We've given our minds a small task. We've made the nerve endings connect. I hope that's helped a little. world still seems dark. There's always a poem that lifts me up when I'm feeling blue or very down or in the dark recesses. Rudyard Kipling's If composed by Kipling and published posthumously and it's kind of about a father giving his son advice but I think it works just as well for daughters if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you if you can trust
trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn-out tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss, and lose and start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with sixty seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and, which is more, you will be a man, my son. This is the time now to thank our October study patrons for all of their continued support. If you haven't let yet, head over to Patreon where you can support the study and find a few member perks. Thank you to everyone who's watching. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers and all friends of the study and for our study Patreons this month. Andreas, thank you. Thank you. Ben, thank you. Joshua, thank you. Thank you. Pirate Gary, thank you. Thank you. Romulus. subscribers, study patrons, and everyone watching. I wish you a cozy, relaxed, and lovely evening as we listen to the rain pattering outside and stay warm here in the study. You are welcome here anytime. Be good to yourself to others.